Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, today in this video, we are going to focus on 2020 AMC. Uh, this is not American AMC, this is Australian. And today we'll do question one to 10. Uh, before we start, uh, I need to tell you something that I'm making this video as an example. If you find it useful, please tell me. Uh, because I will continue making other similar videos for AMC. Or if there are other tests that you need uh, videos on YouTube, but there are no videos for them, you could also tell me. We could uh, work out something together. Okay, and now let's begin. As you know, uh, questions are starting with the easiest, and then they get more difficult. Uh, for that reason also, they have uh, less marks. Each question here is, is three. And if we go to the next 10 questions, you can see that they will have four marks, of course, because they are more difficult and it will take more time to answer. Okay. So the first question, the easiest question, all we have to do is divide these two numbers together. Zeros are simplified, it will be 202 divided by two. The answer will be 101. So D will be the answer, very easy. Okay, question two in the diagram provi provided, find the sum of X and Y. Uh, if you are not an English speaker, because I have students from China, so sum means plus. Okay, and another thing, pay attention to these degrees, okay? We're not looking for the lengths, we're looking for the degrees. Uh, we know that this side is the same as this side. For that reason, this is also X degrees. And we know that, okay, X plus Y, these two, are the same as 105. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, if you didn't know this, we could do it normal way. We know that this is 180 degrees. For that reason, this is 75 degrees. So they are the same, 75 degrees here. This one will be 30 degrees. And X plus Y, again, 105. Okay. Question three, again, not very difficult. Uh, you must know the orders. Well, this will be first one to the fifth power is one. 10 minus one, nine. Okay, so we'll have seven plus 18 divided by nine. So now it's important which one goes first. Multiply and division go first. So this would be two. 7 plus 2 is square root of 9. 3 is the answer. Not very difficult. Huh. Question 4. Sebastian is thinking of uh, two numbers whose sum, when we add them, is 26, and when whose difference is 14. Uh, what is the product of these two numbers? Again, if you are non-native, product of two numbers means you just multiply them like three times four, okay? So uh, we want two numbers that will, the difference is 14. The smallest would be one and 15, right? A little bigger would be two and 16. But when we add them, they're supposed to be 26, okay? So... 1 plus, 1 plus 15 is 16, but the plus should be 10 more. So I'll add five to both of them. Okay, I don't want to write equations. So the small number would be six. The big number will be 20. Six times 20, loop, loop, loop. 120. So question five, is asking us when we four fifths of five six, we know that when we have of of of, 
okay? They just, again, multiply. So four multiplied by five, multiplied by five over six, multiplied by this we don't know, over seven, over seven and eight. This is supposed to be one, okay? Let's just start simplifying. This seven and seven are gone. This five and five are gone. And uh, we could also simplify. So how about this? This would be one and this would be two. You see all the numerators are gone. Okay, we only have this number. Okay, but denominators, the six is safe and sound, there's a two. So a squid. This divided by six over two, 12 is supposed to be one, question mark, 12. Mm. Okay, so question six. Okay, we have a square garden with that area and we want to increase both its lengths and widths by 10%. Uh, so what is the increase in the area? We know that uh, this is 100 meter by 100 meter. And after increasing it by 10%, so it will be 110 meters multiplied by 110 meters. Okay, that's a 10% increase. So, okay. I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it quickly. We know that 11 times 11 is 121, okay? But 10 times 10 is 100. What is the increase in percentages? 21%. Okay, now we could even see that in the answer is the only one representing 21% of 10,000 is the one starting with 20. One. Okay, question seven. I think question seven, if you know what functions are, which most of you know, okay, then uh, it's easy. Uh, all you have to do is put two instead of x, okay? So f2, meaning instead of x, we'll put two. So it's gonna be two times two to the second power minus three times two plus C. Okay, let's simplify this. Uh, eight minus six is gonna be two plus C. Here it says two plus C equals six. So C would be four. Question eight is a little more challenging than the previous questions we have done. Okay, we have an equilateral triangle, okay? Equilateral means, a lot of you already know, all these sides are the same. Subdivided means dividing it into smaller parts, um, into number of smaller equilateral triangles. Again, they are equilaterals. This one, the shaded one has two. Okay, not a very difficult question again. If this is two, well, this is also two. This is also two. See, they are the same size. So these are also two, these are also two. So this would be two and this would be two. So for this triangle, this black one over here. So this is a four, this is a four. Now let's pay attention to this part. We know that this is two. So meaning that each of these small ones is a one. Okay. So each small one is a one. Mm -hmm. So, and remember this was a two and this is also a one. So meaning that this would be three, 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 three. This is three, this is three. This is three, okay? And we know that again, this little one over here, this green one is one for that reason. 
Okay, this is four, this is four, this is four. Four. And this pink one over here was supposed to be one, right? So this is one. That means each side is nine. We have three of them. 27 is the answer. Okay, question nine. Okay, question nine. You should be able to answer it instantly. Okay, if, if you answer it instantly, then move on. But if you can, if you're confused by this X and Y, well, just listen to this. Two to power of three is two times two times two, right? Okay. Now let's imagine that A is two x is three, right? So ax is two times three. And n plus four, okay? If I, if I have this two times three multiplied by two times two to the power of four, you add these two, right? You would write to three plus four, okay? So this really is the same as two to the power of three, multiply by two to the power of four. And again, AX is two power of three. So you see now in this case, let's imagine that AX is this, AY is this, okay? And these two are simplified. So what will be left will be two to power of four. And I said, let's assume this is A to power of Y. So this one is the answer. Question 10, the last question we do uh, in this video. I will just create another one soon. Question 11 to 15. We want this area of Pentagon. Okay, it's easy peasy, right? So it would change into a triangle and a rectangle. The area of this is three times four, 24. Okay, and then to find this triangle, we need to have the height. Um, the height will make this into four and four, right? I don't need this four. So four, five, you know, that is three. Okay, so what is the area of the triangle? Height is three, base is eight, three times eight divided by two, 12. Total area would be 12 plus 24. 36. Okay, this is the end of this video. I'll make another one, uh, 11 to 15, and upload it.